Hi and welcome to Deep in the Bunker. Where today we're going to be harvesting our oregano. Yeah, it's the month of June and that means one thing in a herb garden. Pick, pick, pick. So, over to my lovely uh, oregano here. And as you can see, it's ready. Uh, I'm going to take this down a couple of inches from the bottom. And with my string, scissors, hanging up to dry like I've got my laundry. So let's start at the front and work our way back. Quite simply, take it down, first couple of inches, don't be too worried, hopefully grow back, and stronger. So as you can see, I'm being quite mean here, I'm taking it down a few inches from the bottom, but as I say, this will make it grow back and grow back stronger, so maybe even a second harvest. Wow, check this out. From one bin, all of this. Sweet smelling, fresh oregano. It's unbelievable. I'm just gonna now split this into two packs, hang it upside down to dry, and uh, in a couple of days time, that's gonna be ready to jar up. A little bit of string, tie around the base. Oh yeah, before I forget, same rule applies to the rest of my herbs. Whoops, excuse me. Except for ones that I want fresh. So my oregano back here, I'm gonna pick that um, later on today and have a lovely salsa, but obviously sage, uh, let that grow a little bit longer and I'll be ready to harvest my thyme again. Exactly the same process. Pick it, dry it, strip it, okay? Okay, these are now dry, so reuse the pegs and hang up my oregano instead. All right, now all this has to be done is for a couple of days, but don't forget to take it at night so the evening moisture doesn't get to it. And we'll have lovely dried oregano. Hi and welcome back to the bunker where it's been actually a couple of weeks. I did say a couple of days but it's been a couple of weeks. I've been on um, an errand of mercy to go pick up my mother-in-law from a foreign country, brought her back. What a nightmare, but here we finally are. So without further ado, let's harvest this oregano. Okay, first thing I need to do, take out the stalks and with the downward motion, just strip off all the leaves. Really simply, just come off. Just comes off so easy. So as I say, I'm back from a foreign country and therefore this government has decided to hold me prisoner in my own home for 10 days and pay for the privilege by getting uh, COVID tests done. Very nice of them. Paid for it while I was abroad, paid for it while I was back on day two and I'm gonna pay for it again on day eight. So very considerate of them. So as I say, gives me a little bit of time to Strip down the garden, do a bit of harvesting, and talk to you guys. Enjoy. Which brings me very neatly along to a very long overdue thank you. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, everybody who's watched and everything. You've helped this channel grow and it's grown to over 600 now. Um, I never really thought it would when it started off, like it was just me in front of a computer, very boring. Um, but as time has progressed, you know, I've sort of found the subjects I wanted to talk about, and I think you found them interesting. Um, and I really hope you continue with me on this journey to get this channel to a thousand, ten thousand, uh, hopefully more. Right, nearly done now. Just take up scrapings off the table, put them in there, and give this a good old scrunch down. Give me a chance to sift through, see if any twigs are in there, any foreign bodies. Break down the leaves even more. Once I'm satisfied, let's jar it up. Shove it all in there and try not to uh, miss any of this very precious 
fresh organic oregano out. But as you can see, that's filled up an entire jar. Oh, before I forget, remember that oregano second harvest I talked about at the beginning of the video? Well, I think we're gonna have one. Because if we look over here, it's practically regrown. It was down to about two inches here, and now six. So a couple more weeks, eight, 10, 12. And this time I'm gonna let the oregano actually flower. And I'm gonna go a two-step system. So the bottled leaves at the bottom, I'm gonna harvest again, and they're gonna be for regular cooking. And the flowers at the top are actually a very fine tasting flower, and it'd be perfect for a tea, herbal infusion, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, speaking of tea, it makes me thirsty. So I'm gonna go off to get a cup of tea right now. So in the meantime, it's been Deep in the Bunker, saying take care, stay safe, stay safe.